Okay, so this is the video lab for uh, Laboratory 23. This is the week of March 30th. I'm actually recording this on for lab for Wednesday. This is normally the day that we would do inoculations, which is Wednesday, April 1st. And so today I'm going to do the inoculations and I'm going to be doing the UB treatment for Lab 23. So what we're gonna do to finish out the semester is this week we're going to do video demonstrations for Lab 23. Next week, we're gonna do lab demonstrations for Lab 25. And then the week before finals or dead week, then we'll do video labs for 45 and 46. So the good news is you only have four more labs due. Um, I will do critical thinking and clinical applications for each one of them. So you'll have that information readily available. And then I'll also let you know what the due date is. So what I'm going to do is today we'll do the inoculations for UV light treatment. That's lab 23. So we'll do the inoculations and then we'll do the UV treatment today. And then on Friday, I'll show you the results and I'll show you how to fill in the table of results based on uh, what we grow after we treat with UV light. On Friday, I will also um, post the critical thinking and clinical applications uh, information, and then that lab won't be due until the following Friday, which is April 10th, and you'll just turn it in electronically via email by five o'clock on Friday, April 10th. So everything is going to function like normal, only I'm gonna be doing the laboratory instead of you, and you'll just be observing as I do the inoculations and then also taking the results. Okay, for this lab, we're going to have 12 different Petri dishes, sets of three for four cultures. The first one is SM or Sriracha marcescens. The second one is SE or Staphylococcus epidermidis. The third one is ML or Micrococcus luteus. And then the fourth one is BS or Bacillus subtilis. Okay, so I have my four cultures here. And today, rather than inoculating this, these Petris using a loop, I'm going to use sterile Q-tip swabs. So I just have these sterile swabs. We're gonna dip the sterile swabs in the liquid, and then we're gonna inoculate back and forth so we get a nice confluent lawn of bacteria when we're doing our inoculations. Okay, so I'm going to adjust my screen down here so you can see my table. I've got my Bunsen burner, and I've got my three um, P-trees, A, B, and C for Sriracha marcescens. Okay, so I lay these all out. Get Sriracha in my hands here, okay, get it ready, and then get my sterile Q-tip out. And I'm gonna use the same sterile Q-tip to inoculate each one of these three Petri dishes. And I'm going to go in a back and forth motion just so I get good confluent coverage with my uh, sterile Q-tip. Okay, so I take my covers off. Claim that, get my Q-tip out. Oops, okay. Well, that Q-tip didn't work very well, did it? I will have to uh, get a backup, which I have. I have a backup Q-tip, okay. The nice thing about this is you don't have to watch me inoculate every plate. I'm just gonna do three plates for you, and then we can use the power and magic of television to say that we did the other plates. Oh my goodness. I am not doing well at all. Okay, I'm pouring out liquid. Let me put that back there. I can get my Q-tip out. Okay, fortunately I have enough li liquid left that I can do my inoculations. So I get some liquid and I pick that up with my Q-tip. Okay, my inoculate plate A. And I went completely confluent with A. Pick some more up, do plate B. Okay, 
flame my top again, pick some more up, and do plate C. And that's how you do the inoculations for that. You get really good coverage. And so we should get a nice lawn of bacteria growing. Okay, so I'll put my Q-tip aside, seal up my culture, deal with this mess. And then um, what I'm gonna do then at that point is go ahead and show you the UV treatment and then we'll let these sit for 48 hours. And within that 48 hour time period, uh, then we'll start to grow and we'll see what was able to, uh, was able to survive the UV light. Okay, so here are freshly inoculated plates A and B, A and B for Sriracha marcescens. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold my UV light about eight inches above the culture. I will take the Petri dish cover completely off um, so we're not blocking any of the UV radiation. And then I'll cover a portion of each one of these Petris with some sunglasses to see if we can block the UV radiation with sunglasses. So what we'll see is a pattern when these grow where the sunglasses will block radiation, allow the cultures to grow, but outside of the sunglass pattern, uh, the uh, Petri dish will be directly exposed to UV radiation. And because of that, then we probably won't see any growth or we'll see very sparse growth. So here are my Petri dishes. I take the cover off. Then I take my glasses, which I have cleaned with back down. I'll just set them right there like that. So a portion is covered. Get my UV light ready and go. And we'll just let it sit here for 30 seconds. This is for A and B. A will be cultured at room temperature in the dark. B will be cultured at room temperature in the light. So we'll see if there's any DNA light repair action uh, based on our studies. And then C, I will do next. Okay, so that's 30 seconds. Put our Petri dish covers back on. Okay, we can. And then C, we're not going to use the sunglasses, but C then gets UV treatment for 60 seconds. So here we go. I'll take the cover off. All right, get that ready. And here we go for 60 seconds. And C is going to get more UV light. This is a rather intense UV light. The radiation is called UVA. And UVA has the shortest wavelength of the different types of UV light. That's A, B, and C. And because it has the shortest wavelength, it has the highest energy and the most penetrating energy waves. So we're really subjecting this to a lot of radiation and we should see perhaps some natural selection occur where the UV radiation will kill most of the cultures, but some may have already adapted to UV radiation and be able to grow just fine. Okay, so a few more seconds. And then we're done. Okay. Film A, which was treated for 30 seconds, will store in the dark. B, which was treated for 30 seconds, will store in the light. And then C, which was treated for 60 seconds, will store in the dark. Okay, so stay tuned. Uh, the next video lab will be posted on Friday. And that particular video lab will be the results for lab 23. Don't forget that lab 18 is also due on Friday.